Welcome back. The parents of Archie Battersby have won the first stage of their appeal bid to overturn a High Court ruling that he is dead. A judge said doctors could lawfully stop providing treatment to 12-year-old Archie. His mother says she knows that he is still alive. Martha Fairley reports on their fresh hope. A week ago, a High Court judge ruled that Archie Battersby was brain dead and his life support should be turned off. But while he lies unconscious in hospital, the same judge has now granted Archie's parents permission to mount an appeal to the relief of his mother, Holly. Quite emotional, really. Um, I feel like a little bit of fairness at last. Sorry. I know Archie's not dead. Their funny and talented 12-year-old was found on the 7th of April after suffering brain damage at home. It's thought he might have been taking part in an online challenge. Doctors at the Royal London Hospital told the judge they think Archie is brainstem dead and should be disconnected from a ventilator. But his mother says her son is showing signs that they shouldn't ignore. He's definitely been, he's been extra responsive with his blood pressure this week. His little friend come to visit him. Um, every time he walked around one side of the bed and strokes Archie's like, temple, he was stroking his temple, talking to him, Archie's blood pressure rose, went back down. Um, when he walked around the other side three times, he repeated this. You know, to me, that's a response. Today, Judge Mrs Justice Arbuthnot dismissed eight of the family's grounds for appeal, but Archie's parents' legal team successfully argued it had not been shown beyond reasonable doubt that he was dead, and the judge decided Court of Appeal judges should consider the case. Archie's mother says she's more determined than ever to fight for her son as they face the next stage of appeal and wants to give him the time she believes he needs to start making a recovery. Martha Fairley, ITV News.